What's up, marker heads? It's Karen from Art by Karen e. Haley. I was asked to review this palette by Rigor Arts, um, a seller on Amazon. They sent it to me. Uh, they are not paying me to do this. Um, they basically asked me to test it out and give my opinions of it. So I'm going to be testing this out today. It's very big. <laughs> it has a whole bunch of um, uh, pans for different uh, paints and the one that I've been using is a much smaller palette by um, Lo and Cornell. This I got at Walmart for like $4. Uh, if you are interested in seeing how much this is, I will leave a link to the listing um, on the Amazon website for where to get that, but this is the one that I've been using. Um, it has brush holders, but they're really big and none of my brushes fit in it except for my big mop brush. So that's something that I've had a problem with in the past, especially when I've been out and about trying to paint. Um, other than that, I mean, it's a basic Traveler's watercolor uh, palette, and this is pretty much the same except for much larger, and the mixing spaces are deeper. Um, there's also more space for more brushes, and that's great because the brush holes are actually small enough to fit the brushes that I have, so... Um, that's something that I like and of course all of the pans. That's really great. So so far I really like this palette I haven't used it yet, but I'm looking forward to getting to know how it works All right So the first thing that I noticed when comparing this palette to my old one is that it has a lot more pans for putting paint in my old one has 12 half pans and this one has 24 half pans and four full pans. So it has a lot of space for different kinds of paint. So you could even um, try out many different brands of paint or use a lot of different colors from one brand of paint. I'm thinking I could even do gouache on one side and watercolors on another to do different me mediums. Um, in any case, this gives me a lot more options and I really like that about the Rigger palette. Another thing that's really noticeable is that the whole palette is a lot bigger. Um, the old one that I had was 8 inches by 10 inches when opened and lying flat, and the new one is 10 by 10 and a half inches when laying flat. So it's a lot bigger, about 2 inches, 2 and a half inches longer on one side than the other um, palette is. It also has more holes for holding brushes, and the holes are smaller, which is good because the other palette that I used to have had two holes for brushes, but they're huge, and none of the brushes that I like to use fit in there, so they would all fall out, and it was very frustrating. I do like to go out and about, and I like to sketch out of doors, and bringing watercolors is a lot more space-saving than bringing markers. I bring a lot of markers a lot of the time when I'm out and about, and it's easy to lose them, and they you know, take up a lot of space, so bringing a watercolor palette, even this larger, rigger one, still saves a lot of space, and having one that holds my brushes while I'm maybe standing and painting something, it, it makes it a lot easier to use. Um, I also noticed that the areas where I'm mixing color is a, a bit deeper, so I can get more water into a pan uh, the palette's mixing space, which is really great. Um, that is really the main differences between these two paint, paint palettes. Uh, I do notice that the Rigger palette's plastic is a little bit nicer quality as well. And there's something that I, I didn't really show in the video, but I wish I had. Um, the palette, the Rigger palette can pop apart. So if I wanted to have one side for a certain painting, um, and keep those waters or watercolors separate, um, the color scheme separate from the other uh, painting that I might be working on, because I often do more than one artwork at a time. Um, being able to separate the two halves of the palette and keeping those paint colors away from each other can make it really useful. It can keep it a little more organized, and that's just something that I noticed that I would use this for. I don't know if that's something that other people use it for. And I do say it pops apart, but it's not like it just comes apart easily. Um, you have to be trying to take it apart for you to be able to get it to come apart. Um, <laughs> that being said, my older palette would get stuck 
when I was trying to open it, the hinge would get jammed. And I've been using it for about a year, and I don't rough it up very much. Um, so that's something that I was rather disappointed with my older palette. And I noticed that this one is a lot simpler hinge design, and is a lot less likely to cause a problem. So, in conclusion, I do really like this Rigger palette, and if you guys like it too, they are offering a giveaway for you guys, my viewers. Uh, over on their Facebook page. I have a link down below so that you guys can go go to that page and uh, Enter in the giveaway. They have all the details over there. If you enjoyed this video Please give it a like and if you like my channel, please subscribe I really enjoy all of your guys's company and your comments and I hope that you guys have a great weekend Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on Tuesday <laughs>